Before we dive into today's conversation, we want to provide a brief disclaimer. We may use language that some listeners may find offensive, including a little profanity. Additionally, we may express views that challenge conventional perspectives or discuss sensitive topics such as race and social injustice. We believe in fostering open dialogue and providing a platform for diverse voices and perspectives. However, we also understand that some listeners may be uncomfortable with certain language and viewpoints. We encourage you to approach this conversation with an open mind and a willingness to engage with ideas that may differ from your own. Peace. Much love. It'll make sense to you because my mother always had uh, uh, oil. We always had to have boxes and cases and cases and cases of olive oil that she would order and she would bless the oil. So we had cases of oil all <laughs> yeah. over the house, like boxes. So when something go wrong, somebody come, out, come in the house and we arguing about something, she'll say, who let the devil in my house? <laughs> <laughs> so we all looking at each other saying, you let the, it wasn't me, Henry let the devil in. You did, you was at school today. No, no nigga, that was you. You was at school, you was arguing with the people today. So every night we all like standing there cause we know what come next. This is Will Ransby with Role Players TV, and I have some special, a special guest here. Her name is Lavonia Nelson, and I am very pleased to have her on the show. I am honored, and I actually met her through an acquaintance that I know, which is this guy, my co-host, Marcelo Nine. Oh, They've been knowing each other for years, and I think they can kind of give you an idea of uh, how they met, you know, how they got here, and how they just love each other and how they really love me, you know. <laughs> but I'm going to let them take it away and just let them explain how, you know, how they met and how Lavanya actually got on my show. Man. And, and you know what I love about this part? I love the fact I can fucking edit. So I can fucking make as many motherfucking mistakes as I want to because I can make this motherfucker exactly. off. <laughs> nigga, they be like, damn, that shit's so fucking perfectly cut. Nigga, I fucked up a million times. I just say it this way. I didn't know him. Mo- I'll say it this way. I've known Levanya since Moby Dick was a goldfish. That's a long damn That's time. That's a long time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And through those years, I've, I've discovered a lot of things about her. So I'm honored to introduce her to Role Players TV as a goddess, a queen, mm. Mm. a mother, a sister, a friend, uh, an esteemed business mogul, just a great mastermind, great spirit, like, man, are you I think tears? he created. I think I think God created women like her when mm. He created water. Oh my gosh! So it's that, really nice. He to meet created you. them in the it's same really nice in the, around the same time. So, but uh, no, for, uh, on, and that's real. Yes, yeah. that's real. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's real. Wow, I need you speechless. Yeah, I froze. I, mean, I actually want to get to know you better. I, in now. case y'all didn't know, this is the first show, so we're gonna make a lot of mistakes, you know. Hey, hey, and you know, and if you don't like ever. it, if you don't like it, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, know. <laughs> <laughs> but but where we are today is is and, and through all of the things that I've just said. Uh, I had the honor of work with her on her project, on her life story, on her life project that she's building right now. And for those who don't know, her story goes beyond just an ordinary story of, oh, I was a little girl. I played with Barbie dolls. I started becoming a cheerleader. I did this. Her life has been a spiritual journey 
as some would say. And I use the term spiritual because that's the only term that everybody can relate to, but it's, it's deeper than that. Sometimes we look at life and we think that it's just about us as human beings. But some of us are spirits inhabiting human form. That's the way I look at it. So it's like we, we're connected to something deeper than just what we're here. And I, and I don't want to get to talking too much because this ain't my show. This ain't my time. This is about the, this is about the queen. This is who, you know what I'm saying, what the red carpet leads to right here. This ain't my show either. I'm just furniture. I'm just, you know. Oh, yeah. I did say that. I said that earlier. I was just like, she's the only great looking one in the show. The rest <laughs> of us are just furniture. Yeah, we just furniture. We're just here for it. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I appreciate I, I appreciate that, Marcella, honestly. Um, I think um, a lot of times when we meet people and we go through life, a lot of people don't see the real you, mm. right? You go through years before you can really look at me to meet the real person, mm. right? But when you and I met, it's like the real you and the real me showed up at yeah. the same time. So it was never a point of, okay, later on, I got to get this guy to really know who I am. I came to him this way and I, and I need him to know that this ain't me, but you, it was never that. Mm -hmm. It was never that when I met you, I, the same person I met almost 30, maybe 30 years you ago. You're telling our age, okay, man. So, 30 okay. years. 30 30 years. Wow. A couple decades ago. Right, like that. that <laughs> <laughs> but listen, y'all, but well, that's the beauty in, in being able to tell your age is that you were granted and graced oh. time mm -hmm. that your creator gave you that most don't have. Wow. Right? That's mm -hmm. it. And yeah. there are people that have been here that have left that would love to still be here or their family members would love for them to still be here to be able to have this conversation right here about time. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. That just, that, that just, forget this. I'm just going to go ahead and tell my age. I don't care anymore. I'm 25 years old. I'll be 26 <laughs> in a couple of freaking months. My cash out for my birthday is coming up in September. You know what I'm saying? Hey. And, uh. But, my my birth year is a year ahead of his, so that tells you why. What's up? This guy right here. <laughs> Y'all look funny. But yeah, so I'm more interested. I mean, how do I say this? I guess. Hold on. Let me let me let me gather my words. So, the documentary. Mm -hmm. Yes, documentary. That's what I wanted to. Okay. Talk about. Yeah. So the docu series is correction oh, docu series. Yes, let's, let's, it, it, okay. It, it, okay, so no, we can no. We started out so literally, it started out to be a documentary, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but in the process of coming up with what God giving me the vision and the idea, it branched off into a docu series because it was too deep to just make it a one time thing. Mm. So because the docu series is about all types of people anybody could be this person that's been their life been told it has to be a docu series to continue through infinity right mm -hmm. because it's not just going to be about me at this point saying how i discovered glory everybody has their story of glory and it's going to be different so the title of the so docu the, the title of the docu series is I am glory. Oh, I am glory. And and meaning glory for me is the reflection of God. So when you say that, then now you saying I am God's reflection. Oh. So when you look mm. in the mirror, you should see a reflection of your Creator, which that's you. When I look at Marcelo, I should be able to see the mirror image of our Creator. When I look at Will, it's the same thing. So that when the three of us are sitting at this table, we are all glory. Wow. Mm. Love it. Right? Love it. Glorious. Who told who told me one time to, to look in the mirror and pray? Did you tell me that? Or was somebody or somebody was smarter than you no. that told me that? I told you <laughs> I always said that when you look in the mirror, don't look in the mirror just to do your hair. Mm -hmm. Look in your soul. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's just like 
some people are afraid to look at themselves. They're afraid to look at them eye, in their eyes when they're looking mm -hmm. in the mirror because a lot of people are soulless. Yeah. So yeah. well, I, they may I, not have hit glory yet. To they under, may not, they have, may not hit have, glory have understood. Yet. <clears throat> so once, you, once the beauty of it is, once you understand that you are glory, you can't help but look in the mirror. See, here's here's that's something you want to see every day. You want to see you want to see the greatness that you are in everything that you do. Yeah. Every place that you go and every time you see someone, you want to be it's you're so full of it. You want to be able to share that with somebody else and explain to them who they are. And they usually ask you the question because they see it in you. And then that conversation becomes so simple. So I, I noticed myself when I first started praying and started like looking at myself in the mirror and telling myself, you know, that I'm great. Uh, when I pray, I look, I, I can see myself frowning and not mm -hmm. smiling. But so I started smiling and praying, looking mm -hmm. at myself in the mirror and praying. And then I, I really saw the God in me. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, for some reason, I got this little thing right here on my, my forehead. Like mm -hmm. it, it's in high school. I don't think I had it in high school, but it's like everybody used to walk and say, why are you looking mean? Like, Will, Will so mean. And I think it's just the way my face is, man. You know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> it's beautiful. The th oh, God. <laughs> the third but one. it's like this <laughs> it's like this thing right here, man. You know, I'm just being real, man. But that's, that's, that's God in the details. Yeah. Like, we're, we're, all, we're all made differently. <laughs> yeah. We're all a part of <clears throat> his image. Yeah. Right? So... I used to explain it um, to my kids in a in a simpler form is that if you if you took God and he scattered himself across the the world, just say he scattered himself, mm -hmm. and then as you he moves about searching for parts of him, Marcelo might be the fingers that connects to my wrist that creates you might be my forearm mm -hmm. that creates to my shoulders. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. as we all connect through life, yeah. then we all come back and we create one big being, one big spirit, which is God. So him all over the world is us scattered everywhere. Mm -hmm. And when we all wow. connect through love, because that's what it is, then we create him. And now it's him covering the world again. If that makes sense, yeah. what I'm saying. It makes, it makes perfect yeah. sense. If the, if, yeah, let me tell you something about this one. No, if, no, it's, there you go. Okay. There you let go. me tell you something about it. If the ocean was amniotic fluid, she'd be a mermaid. <laughs> you yes. are really amazing me today. <laughs> I ain't going to need to <laughs> So, in case everybody don't know, I am the antagonist. I'm very antagonistic. I, I look at things like... Y'all notice I didn't even, I didn't even mm -hmm. participate in when y'all were talking about praying. Mm -hmm. I don't pray. You meditate? I don't pray. I connect. I, mean, I know you all mm -hmm. these years and you don't pray. I connect. I don't pray. I connect. It's like. Is it, it because of a definition of the word pray? No. Or what it means? It's, it's, or? it's just that I think, I think a lot of things are given titles and our power can't exceed those titles. Mm -hmm. So, no, I don't pray. I I speak directly. I don't it, ha I don't it, have to go through I don't have to go through a form of like this and that like 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 right now. Anybody ask me my one of my favorite things I always always tell my kids is that they were just like I was like I talk to God. It's how you know you're talking to God. That's because he smells like Tom Ford, uh, ombre leather cologne. <laughs> I, I know when he in the room, hey man. Don't you blast me? <laughs> Listen, playing. no. But because of the <laughs> fact, because of the fact that it's like we have a direct connection. Not everybody has a direct connection, and this is the part where it gets kind of sticky because of, you know, we're taught, mm -hmm. we're taught, but. And, but let me lead off and say, we're taught, we're, we're not taught to think, we're taught to learn. Mm. Is he, is it your problem with the word pray? It's because the word pray means to connect with a higher power. You, you pray and you connect. Is you have a problem with the word or 
because I like the word connect better too. I like I, I let me let me instead of saying let me connect, let me pray, let me connect with God. Hold on. I can't. Do you like that better, or do, is it? Do you like? Is do you still prefer the, the word pray? What is the definition? Here's the definition. What is the definition of pray? Here's the definition of pray. What is the definition of praying? Here's the definition of pray. Address a solemn request or expression of thanks to a deity or other object of worship. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't do that. You don't connect with the higher power? No, I don't redress. I don't address a solemn request. Mm. To a deity or an other object of worship. Yeah, deity is, deity seems like a word that's like a look. I don't know. Definition of deity. Yeah, let's let's do that. Here's the definition of deity, a god or goddess in a polytheistic religion. Mm. See, this is the rabbit hole. <clears throat> Got you. You know what I'm saying? And then we go, what is a polytheistic religion? Mm. understand this mm. so it's just like so me I don't mind going down the rabbit hole to understand where I'm going so no but isn't there more than one God though okay let me let me explain okay so I don't, you, you said something earlier mm -hmm. that said if the way we connect right is not necessarily like you could connect with the arm and the fingers or whatever it's like it's all glory like all of us are gods Correct. Like I'm not gonna like if I pray to you. Why well, if I pray to you, I'll ask you for something. That's right? the request. Right, that's a request. Mm -hmm. But do I look at you as a as a as a god? I do look at you as a god, and I would hope that you look at me in the same. But we're I would say that I'm a god in progress. You know what I'm saying? I I have flaws. I'm not perfect. You know? No, oh, none of us are. But if I, I if I, I, I like if I look to get something done, right? I'm not gonna <laughs> go to somebody who's not smarter than you. Cause I know you can get it done. Right. And I'm going to say, let me go on and connect with Marcelo and, 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 you know, make this happen. Like we, me and Lavonia was talking in the, in the hallway when she came here about some stuff that she's doing with veterans and utilizing the, the estate that we have from our family and, you know, building a community. And that's, the, and that's one of the reasons why I'm so happy she here on the show, you know? And if I have to request something, if you're a goddess, I'm going to say, if, because mm -hmm. I consider you are a goddess, right? Right. So I'm going to say, please. <laughs> right. Oh, I, I oh humble. Yeah, I understand, I'm humble myself. I understand, on you. I understand you both uh, perceptions here or perspectives. Mm -hmm. um, I get it. Um, in the, re the church world, I'm going to say church world, Christian world, um, to say not to praise is almost evil. Mm -hmm. You understand? Oh, yeah, in the church, yeah. Right? But it is a request. It it does come down to how spiritual or how connected you are from spirit. Um, because so like I am glory is set up in four stages: the spirit, spirit, mm -hmm. the soul, the flesh, and then glory. Most people. Um, will start at a see you in your glory stage, but don't really understand how that even came about. We all start off in the spirit, period. That's, that's the closest you're going to get to your creator. That, that is, that's it, right? But when you're going to come full circle, when you finally re recognize glory, knowing that really glory and spirit are the same. Mm -hmm. They're really the same. Because you started off here mm -hmm. and you end up here but you're really coming back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to see this yeah. docu series. If if you this inform with what you're saying and all this dialogue, if mm -hmm. this is in this docu series, I am so excited to see it. Oh, it absolutely is. So you'll see when you when it comes out and you guys see, you'll see where, um, like like I said, everybody's story is different. So my my beginning of spirit would have started with me <laughs> connecting very young. Um, I come from, uh, my mother was very, I'm not saying religious, she was pretty much a prophetess mm -hmm. and an evangelist. Mm -hmm. So that's the background that we come from, right? So a lot of things that my mother did when we were younger, I always had questions because I was never the person 
that you could tell me something and it didn't make sense to me and not explain it to me. And she was very good at always explaining it. That's how I was able to move through life is that I got to understand what it is that I'm looking at and what you're saying to me. Because when you're talking to me, I'm, I'm literally putting it into a, a motion picture. Yeah. I'm watching a movie mm-hmm. while you're talking to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So while you're talking to me, I'm watching this movie. And then if I don't understand it, I don't hear sound. So it's like I'm watching a movie with no sound. And the moment it clicks and I can understand it, the volume is turned up. Mm. So now what I'm looking at on the screen, I can hear it and it's making sense. Right. But a lot of people go through life just believing what they're told, never understanding why they mm. been told that. Yes. And they just say, and they just start repeating it. Oh yeah, this is this. I was never that, never that person, never that person. So the, the story for me is spiritually, we grew up in the house and I, I like to call it spiritual boot camp, right? It prepares you for life, but you don't, you know, if you don't understand you in a boot camp, right? right. <laughs> yeah. Cause you got to know you in the boot camp to know that you've been prepared for something when you come out of boot camp. Same thing with the military. Yeah. You go through boot camp, they giving you a little test of what mm-hmm. you're going to deal with when you get on the front line. Right. Yeah. Same thing spiritually, but a lot of us spiritually, Mm-hmm. don't have mentors mm-hmm. so you'll you'll start to know you will if you go back I'm not telling our age but if you go back and anybody go back in their life and they've been around people that have prophesied to them or say hey this is what I see or uh, speak these positive words be careful your words carry power if you go back to that point a lot of times you have dealt with people that have been so deep or so connected spiritually, if you don't understand it, the first thing you say is, that's voodoo, that's witchcraft. Mm. Mm. You start to to put these people in a different place because you don't understand it. Mm. And then a lot of times if you have those gifts and you don't really know how to um, use them because you need to be taught how to use gifts, Mm. right? You give Mm. a child a computer, it's a gift. I gave you this for for Christmas, but I gotta show you how to use it properly. So yes. what we do spiritually is we don't take the time to get mentors mm. and we're lost. I'm going to take this back. I want to rewind back a little okay. bit. And you were talking about growing up in a spiritual household. Mm-hmm. Um, were you rebellious? No, never. I really? was rebellious. Never. I was rebellious. Really? So, so I was very inquisitive. <clears throat> I wanted I wanted answers to everything. I you, wanted you just, to know you just, if somebody told me something was blue, how did you get blue? So I mean, was that like was that like being because you were like a smart ass or something, or it was just or did you just like to challenge people or I just wanted to know. Oh. You you sincerely I wanted, wanted to know. I just know. wanted to know. So you mean to tell me you're this 12, 13 year old girl. Oh, I just want to know. I don't want to be a smart ass because I'm smarter than you are. No, but- I just wanted to know my, I come from a family. It was eight of us, mm-hmm. right? So I got a twin sister. So we're the youngest. So you could ask any of them. I was the kid at five mm-hmm. when they would go out to play. I would sit at the table with a dictionary, a notepad and a pen and start from the beginning to the end and write down the words and the definitions because I wanted to know. I wanted to set myself up in a place to where when I got older, I could sit in a room and talk business and understand what they were saying to me. Mm. I didn't want to be the kids or the girls sitting in the room and they're talking and I don't understand verbiage. I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm just sitting there looking crazy. So I educated myself very early. Snow outside, I didn't care for it. They say, are you staying in? Yeah, just give me the dictionary. That's, that was just, I just wanted, I was the kid that had to know why blue was blue, why one plus one equal two, and that's the only way you can get to it. Because in my mind, just because one and one is here, that ain't the only way you can get to two. So I wanted to know different ways to get to something. All my role players out there, let me tell y'all something. This woman right here is on a higher plane. Okay, and let me tell you one another thing. The Bible is not the biggest book that you're going to 
read or study or whatever, pick up that dictionary because that should be one of the best selling books. Whatever interpretation, whatever ver, you know, whatever dictionary. You, you know, I gotta talk. I gotta, I I gotta comment on that one because it's like, yeah. One thing I learned in death. That's that's for another story. But the one thing I learned in death is that there is only one book on this planet. Everything else is either a remix or uh, a version of it, and that's the dictionary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and and, th- and this is how this is this is how this is how you can control a a a a people. These are the words that you have to choose from. This is what these are the definition of these words. Mm-hmm. You know, if you under if you're paid attention like with us, they always try to mock or make fun or prevent us from creating an inner language, ebonics per se. Mm-hmm. They try to make it look like it's like, you know, it's it's something bad, but it's it's, it's really not anything bad. Yeah. It's something that we understood that they couldn't control. And when I say they, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Mm. I can't say, and I'm not going to say it out loud because I don't want white folks to think I'm talking about white folks, even though I'm talking about white folks. They couldn't control this shit. (laughs) So it was just like. No offense. No offense. I didn't say that part either. (laughs) Shit. I just look at it like this. I just look at it like this. Like I said, again, we're, we're not taught to think we're taught to learn. Yeah. They like me growing up in school, like you were talking about you reading a dictionary. Uh Uh-huh. I memorized everything. Mm-hmm. Like my, I had a memory. Like mm-hmm. my memory was Same. ridiculous. Same. Like I'm not finna study this. I don't want to learn this. I ain't gonna process. I'm just gonna memorize it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'll go through, and I'll be the first one that's done with my test. Yeah. Every single time. You know what I'm saying? So I, I man, I understood too, like you did at a young age, mm-hmm. what this was. Yeah. I understood who I was. I understood that I have a purpose. I, my biggest, my big, biggest thing wasn't to worry about what college I'm going to. I was like worried about when is my purpose going to be revealed to me? Mm. Why am I here? I know I'm see, not and that's here. key because that's the one thing that that you go through life when you talk about um, being taught. Mm-hmm. And uh, taught and learned. You, you you made a comment earlier. That's the thing. Um, you're young, and pe- and you always hear, oh, figure out what your purpose is. Mm. Once you find your purpose, you made it. <laughs> you got it. Mm. But did anybody ever stop to explain to you how to do that? No. no. They told you when you discover it, you'll know. Mm-hmm. Right. So you got people 40, 50, you still got people who left this planet who still didn't know what their purpose was because they were searching. Yeah. And no matter how we <clears throat> have this conversation, it's going to bring me back to the I am glory because to me, the purpose is glory. And if we told that early on, now life is different. Mm-hmm. Everything is seen different. There is no they. Because they no longer exist. You know why? Because you are focused on purpose. Mm. So all it is, this, all these side distractions, front distractions, they don't exist. Because now you're focused on what the purpose is. So five years old, somebody said to me, hey, glory is the purpose. Now, what am I doing? I'm trying to figure out, well, how does that glory work for me? Because now that becomes my focus. I got to ask a question. Are you worried about people not understanding your message in this docuseries? I want, yes. Mm. It's a, it's a, it's a, you know, and that's the thing that I have. I have that conversation with God all the time is, are they going to get it? Are they going to be able to see it? I'm getting ready to cry. It's okay. Mm. It's okay to cry. Because I'm going to cry with you. Cause, it's, because I'm getting emotional too. It's so important to me that we get it because it's like God has 
done so much for all of us, right? And it's like him being the guy that people forget about. So for me, it's, um, I don't want people to forget about him. It's like, it's, 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 it's like you have a kid that, um, play ball or whatever, and you just want the world to, to see your kid. You want them, you know, you don't, you, you see how hard your child work, the, how hard they pushing in the gym and they doing all of these things. And when they get on the field, you want the, the people to cheer for your, your kid because you know how hard they work behind the scenes. So I'm saying God works so hard behind the scenes for us that I just want them to see him. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. We all crying on the show, y'all. Cause we, I know, because cause yeah. I feel, and, and I think what it is, is that, like, even before she started speaking, I could feel the energy. Yeah. Definitely. I could feel the, and, and like, it's like the frequency sometimes. We're so off, we're so off frequency with, with the people that we're supposed to be connected to. We're so yeah, off yeah. that we don't, we look at it and we're trying to figure it out. We're trying to figure it out. No, sometimes it's not about you figuring it out at the moment. Just, just shut up and listen. Listen and absorb. Don't just listen. Listen and absorb. There, I think there are so many little, little forms of or art forms of life that we're not taught, and to to sometimes allow people, allow people to share who to share what they feel, energy wise. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just like vibration wise, versus just words. Because I mean, like again, I said, words. <laughs> For me, I don't think the power in the words. I think the power is in the sound, the sound. Mm -hmm. in the, the tone. Yeah. It's in the tone. <clears throat> it's just like mm -hmm. it's and and I think we're taught that this word equals this. They this word is you can speak this in existence. No, you need to tell people to focus more on your tones, on your sounds. You know, it's it's like birds. We hear a bird, we, can, we hear, you know, sound, the wind. Everything, everything on this planet communicates through sounds. Yep. And we don't understand that we take, we take words and we create, how do I say this? We create sounds with the words and we ignore the sounds. The sounds is really important. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like if, if me and you are having a conversation, even if I'm bothered with something, the way I project will make a difference on how you receive what I'm saying. Right. I could say, I could sit up here and say, man, that's stupid. Mm -hmm. Or I could say, hey, you're stupid. Mm -hmm. Or I could say, hey, that's just stupid. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like the way I project will be the way that you mm -hmm. accept. You know what I'm saying? That's real. The, yep. But man. So we, we uh, uh, you know, at Role Players, uh, I'm a man. And I'm going to tell you right now, I cry. <laughs> if y'all got a problem with that, I don't know what to tell you. I, you know, uh, I cry at movies. You know, um, and my daughters know. Daddy, are you crying? Yeah, I'm. What? Yeah, I, I cry, man. You know, and it's really, I think sh this this beautiful beautiful young lady is crying out for her people, really, because she has so much in her, you know, that is powerful. And when she's driving down the street, like myself, I see something that is just. It breaks my heart, you know. She wants everybody that sees this docu series, right, to get it, I, and it's, it's really them, about yeah, that. I, I want, I want everyone to get who they really are, and to be able to skip all the years of trying to figure it out, mm. right? This this docu series is technically a blueprint for anybody at whatever stage you are in i mean there's four stages to this docu-series so it's you know you should be able to look and say hey that's me i'm sitting in the flesh mm -hmm. right now or, i'm sitting mm -hmm. in the soul battling right now or, I'm, I'm still in spirit or i'm at my glory this is the blueprint like i went through all stages because i had to we all have to 
right? We all have to deal with our situations differently. Mm -hmm. But the end goal is to realize that you are glory so that your focus changes and that sometimes the, the like my struggle that I went through, I had to go through it for a five minute decision. A five minute decision cost me 26 years of my life, right? People make decisions every day. How long will you be in that decision? Because you, it doesn't mean that you don't go through the decision. Mm -hmm. You're given grace to get through the decision, but you still got to go through it, right? So if I decide to go left and I should have went right, or I'll get to a red light or the yellow, the light's yellow, but I say, I'm going to speed through. I can make it before it hit red and I go through it. And if a cop pull me over, I still got to deal with that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean it didn't happen. It means it happened. And Marcella may go through that light and the cop pull him over and let him go. Mm -hmm. I go through the light. The cop pull me over. He may give me a ticket. Yeah. You go through the light. The cop might say, you know what? We taking you in. Mm -hmm. Everybody's situation is Everybody's different for the decision yeah. that they made. Yeah. So my hopes is that through all of this, that we can see that God are in the details of every single thing we do. Yeah. Every single thing we do, every decision we make, every connection we make, every group of people we sit with, every table we sit down at, every piece of food we pick up to eat. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? He's in the details of all of it. So if we can get that early, just some things you can skip in life. You can skip the struggle. Yeah. So basically, sometimes we make the right decisions. Sometimes we make decisions right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or we make the yeah. decision right. That's what we have to learn in life. Right. So. I, th I think, you know, what you're, this docuseries, if it's going to uh, raise some awareness mm -hmm. and, 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 and maybe shedding the light on, on who we are. As right. a, as a people, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying. It's just 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 a little bit of light, you know, to shed on it. Even if it's just a little bit, you know. And 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 circling back to the the dictionary and the Bible, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna add this. And if if and 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 it goes back to the dictionary of of, of anybody who believes in the Bible. I don't know, but there's a a group of books that you, they'll be in the description. I'll put in the description in this in this show. It's a, a five-volume set, Interpreter's Dictionary of the Bible. It's a Strong's Concordance and a Thesaurus. These three books, these books, if you want to interpret anything that King James has written or any of these, fair, these, these scribes have written, then these books will help you decipher the Bible and you will discover who you really are as a people. Now, I'm talking about, I'm talking about my people. I'm talking about black people. And... I am just I just want to say I, I'm, I thank you for being here on this show, because I think that what you're doing is really in line with what me and my family are doing on our state in Georgia. Mm -hmm. We're trying to build communities here and you are definitely a catalyst for that. And I definitely would want you to be on our team to build this community for black people. And I think we can raise so much awareness yeah. with young people. And discover who they really are before cattle driven slavery. Got it. I wanna ask, are you worried about any backlash from are you worried about any backlash from this docu series, the way you're saying things, the where it, it may not align with the traditional American thoughts and values and everything else? Are you worried about that? I'm not worried about it. I thought about it though, but I'm not worried about it. And the reason I'm not worried about it is because I'm not a I'm never going to be ashamed to talk about God as my creator as who he is to me. And for me to do that or to worry about whatever the people are saying means that I'm ashamed of him. Never will I be. Never ever will I be. So Lavon, you're from Detroit, right? Yep. How is how is coming from Detroit has has created you? Is the mindset in Detroit different from the mindset in Atlanta? And did you bring some of that mindset from Detroit to Atlanta to kind of build your career and what is what it is now? So I was very young um, living in Detroit, right? 
um, we moved around a lot because, you know, my mother, like I said, was, my mother was an evangelist, but before my mother was an evangelist, my mother was gangster. Hey. Oh, sorry. right. <laughs> so we, we had, we had. Were we talking about real gangster? Yeah, I mean real gangster. Real gangster. Okay. Laid under her tongue, pipe in the water hole. Oh, um, hey. Car jacks in the trunk, pit her, her nines in her, in her pocket. My mother never carried a purse. Freeze. Really impressed. <laughs> okay, go ahead. My I'm mother, impressed. my mother never carried a purse. She wasn't the girly girl type, like at all. What we saw was my mother was a a, a hard worker. She worked ten jobs if she had to. Mm. She was a single parent with eight kids at twenty six. By the time my mom was twenty six, it was eight kids. You understand what I'm saying? That's we amazing. were all like a, the last five of us a year apart, so we were all very close, right? But my mother was was very gangster. Like she didn't play no games about her kids. She didn't, she didn't play no games. So that part of her is definitely all of us. So you're gangster. Very much so. Oh shit. Um, I, <laughs> meaning, she like, meaning she, I'm, 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 I, but I took it, I took it to be gangster in business. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. To be gangster with whatever I did, I'm, I'm, I'm going hard all the way. No one's gonna be able to tell me that I can't do something. That mm -hmm. that's that's what I took from my mom. I watched it. I watched I watched the days that she would work twelve hour days, come home, she played in the band, she played the guitar and she sang, and then she'll go hit the club, do that gig, and then go right back into another gig. Right? Her worth ethic couldn't nobody match. Mm -hmm. And for me, that I took that from her. I'll tell you to this day, can't nobody outwork see, me. See, that's that indomitable will and that resilience of black people that I, that I keep, I say it all the time. You know, we this world was built off of our backs, right? This so, world. Some. Hmm? Some. Some. Black people. Oh, some. <laughs> <laughs> some black people. Okay, listen. So, hey, for real, that this, her mom, her mom is an example of what every household should be. The, the gangster part, let's not even talk about that. Okay, gangster, you talk about it's gangster in business. She taught y'all how, to, it how to survive, right? She did. That. And, and based off of a world that was built, not by us really, right? She was put in a situation where she had to be gangster. And it's a lot of women that are doing that. But one thing she did, she had babies. Mm-hmm. She had babies, and this is the key to our future in rebuilding families: is to have babies and to teach them to be millionaires. Yeah, um, most can people. Can I say you're a millionaire? You can say that. Okay. Teach them to be you, millionaires. You can definitely say okay. that. <laughs> Praise your mama. Absolutely. Okay. I, and I and, wish I. And is everything, she alive? everything goes alive? back to that. I'm, I'm sorry. When you when you bring something that powerful to mm -hmm. this table. We have to give her a name. It ain't no more yes, mama. That's it what ain't I was just, just her. about to say. What's right. her name? Is she like still what's, alive? Is so, she no, my my mother passed in, uh, in two thousand and nine. Um yeah. yeah, she did. Yeah. Oh, you met her, Marcelo? No, my mom passed in two thousand and ten. Yeah. It was literally wow. right after. Yeah. Wow. So um Is that why that maybe that's why y'all got no, kind of we, we, No, we've we, been we, connected. we've been this from, from day from yeah. day from the first day we saw each other. This was this is this my, is how we've been. Yeah, this is how we've been. Okay. Yeah. And it was just yeah. like yeah, it's still beautiful, man. Yeah, beautiful thing. Yeah. But so, yeah, go ahead. I'm yeah. Sorry. So no, my mother. So my mother's name is Joan. 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 Joanne. Joan Jackson. Hunter. Harriet. Perry. Martinez. Because she had a lot of last names. Because she got with you. She didn't like you. She was done with you. Hi, Joan. You know. Welcome Joan to Joan's is you, world. Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's but no, I, I should have said it. But my mother was very much um you could not cry around her very mm -hmm. long. Mm -hmm. And it didn't mean you couldn't cry. It meant you had to have a reason for it. And mm -hmm. once you discovered the reason that you're crying, then she brought you to the center of what do you do next? Mm -hmm. So she didn't allow you to sit in a space of a woe is me. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So she didn't, and I remember her telling me, you know, you, you want to be this big business woman when you get older and you can be all of that. But going into a boardroom crying in front of a bunch of people is not going to get you there. Mm. So you need to decide 
what you want to do. You feel like you want to cry. You don't get up and go in the bathroom. You don't get up and go sit in your car. You get up, you go home, get yourself together and you come back the next day, but you don't never let people see, see you sweat. She always told me that. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, a job I had, I should have been promoted. They brought me in, trained all these people. I trained all these people straight out of college. They didn't know the, know the job, been on this job seven, eight years. They brought me in to train. All these people came in. I trained them all. I said, okay, cool. Now I'm getting ready to get promotion. And they said, no, the guy you trained yesterday is who we're promoting. He's going to be your yeah, boss. We just needed right. you to teach him the ropes. What's right? Right here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Was right. yeah. And I said, yeah. what do you mean? Yeah. And they said, well... What he said to me was, you articulate very well, but in this position, mm. we need a different face. We need a different face. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like, you didn't I come to work. I cried on the soon. inside. You didn't come but to I work. But I kept hearing my mother's voice. If I, you better if not you cry. If you were a Joanne voice, you should have came to work the next day with a switchblade. I can't. <laughs> I did. I Joe came with it. I came, I came oh, with it. Wait, wait, we can't say I came, I No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. I came the next right. day. Here's where here's where the gangster come in in business, mm. because my switchblade the next day was my two weeks notice. Oh yeah, because it's gonna take them more than two weeks to know what I've known in eight years. Mm. So good luck. Mm -hmm. I turned in my notice, and when they were like, "We can give you more money," I said, "It ain't about the money, because you already showed me who you were." And the mm -hmm. one thing about me. Once you show me who you are, I believe you. I believe you. I don't have a reason not to. I don't have a reason to say maybe you had a bad day. No, you showed me who you was on a good day. Because mm -hmm. I knew for two weeks, they can't learn what I've known in eight years. Mm -hmm. wow. So good luck with that. Wow. You're going to have a problem when I leave. Because guess what? I created value while I was there. Mm -hmm. So I don't need you to offer me no more money. Guess what? The same value that I brought to your company, I'll take it someplace else. And the money gonna come to me anyway, cause and, money was sitting there waiting. And it was the sitting there waiting, saying, "Where's she going? Where's she going? Mm -hmm. Follow me." Uh oh, oh they like, you know? oh. <laughs> they so, like traitor. She, 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 <laughs> she's going to the enemy. So, so yeah, that part of no. business. So when you go back and say, "Does Detroit teach you something different than other places?" Absolutely. It's a different work ethic. This is just my opinion. The grind is different. It's just totally different. Um, there's no such thing as I can't is how do I get this to, to happen for me? Right. Mm -hmm. You, you, your, your hung, your hunger is different. Everybody's sitting at the mm -hmm. table hungry, but everybody's not asking for the same plate. Lavanya, I want to thank you. I, thank wanna, you I really want to thank you. I, I do. I really want to thank you for coming. I, I really appreciate it. And, and this docu-series, I think that it's going to raise some awareness and which is definitely what, our communities need is education yeah. and raising awareness. So please, please watch the show. I am glory coming this summer, 2024. Stay tuned. I think it's going to be a great show. I am so excited about it again. Thank you. Lavonia. Thank you I so really much appreciate for having it coming me. on. So all you role players out there, what role do you play? What role do you want to play? in rebuilding our nation a nation that was lost this is the purpose of this show this series this is what it's all about bringing everyday heroes like lavonia on this show who are doing amazing things in the community and who has a passion for improving and lifting us up so stay tuned i am glory docuseries coming coming 2024 in the summer and like subscribe comment let me know what you think Peace, much love.